Ah. Uh, there we go. Uh, there's nothing I really need to do in the beginning, right? I'm just gonna play the Barbarian. I don't have any other weapons or anything. Can't level anything up. Don't have any rune juice. Okay. Let's fire it up. We could farm topaz and copper here. Okay. Let's see how it goes. I, now, do I want to use mouse and keyboard, or do I want to use game? Can I use gamepad? Hold on. This feels like it'd be fun to play with a uh, gamepad. I don't think it'd probably be better with mouse and keyboard, though. So if you guys ever played, like, Vampire Survivors, I think it's, that's kind of what we can expect. Just kill dudes, level up, pick talents, pick skills. Should be good. Oh, you've only played with, uh, with, uh, keyboard? Or, sorry, with, uh, with gamepad? I bet it's pretty fun with this. Maybe I could try. Uh, these don't look that good. I'll just choose this one because it's uncommon power. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, yeah. I can farm this stuff, too. Oh, you haven't tried it without keyboard mouse. Okay. Sorry. I, mis I misread you. Got to farm the XPs, and I got to farm these little thingos, too. It's starting off pretty tame, but things might heat up. I think I like Titan Cleaver. I want to do a bunch of physical stuff. I've watched the game a little bit, but I haven't played it ever yet, so. I have to turn the sound effects down even more, though. But yeah, I, I want to. I want to do like. Poison sounds good, but I think we need to start taking some ep some multicasting so we can start to get lots of hits out. I want to scale like physical damage and bleeds and stuff. <coughs> That's a big boy. Watch out now. He's their big fella. Look at these casters too. I'm gonna farm whatever this is. Some copper. Uh, I don't want I don't want to lose movement speed right now. I wouldn't mind some more XP and some XP gathering range. Let me turn the settings down just a teens just a little bit more. There we go. Is it weird NPMs? Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't be don't be weird uh foisty in NPMs. Extra 10 damage per stack of bleed or hemorrhage. And it, and it applies fragility. Uh, this also applies bleed, though. I might, I might try this one. Because it'll give me something to, like, aim. Uh, doom sounds good. I like, I like the idea of doom. Some dots and stuff. This is working. Gives me something to, to carve a path. Every time you apply a stack of bleed, there's a chance to apply poison. I like that. I like that a lot. That means my knives will probably be doing both. That's good. Buffs also stack multiplicity on multicast. Yeah. I think I've seen talents where it's like if you make different stuff. So body slam? I think that's a good one. There's a little, little schmack right in front of me. Poison and bleeds. Uh, I'm just gonna do more XP. It's pretty early in the game, so I think I think we can probably farm a little bit. Increase your just critical damage modifier, area modifier of flurry. Get more more points and flurry. Other everything offered is good and useful. Yeah, then you can like kind of, like look out for specific stuff later on. Yeah. All right, here's our first boss. I should make sure we 
just the flanks off of her. Uh, I feel like I should have um, some macros for you in... Uh, do I have to pick one of these? Is my movement speed. Uh, like I guess we could do shadow spikes because it's like a. It is kind of physical, right? I wasn't really planning on doing a lot of movement speed. I guess it'll be like a lot of frontal damage. Just keep spamming on her. Let's see. Body slam or whirlwind or movement speed. We, you know, I could. I feel like I want more damage right now, but movement speed does sound really nice. Being able to just kind of scoot around is good. Maybe that thrust attack would have been good if I'm scaling off movement speed. Oh, good killer. Nice. Uh, Multicast chance on body slam and skill up. It's good. I would like a slow, though, too. We'll, we'll take big body slamming. That big, like, burst that comes out like that. That does big damage. Uh-oh. I'm gonna be getting stuck now. So I have to pick one of these. A totem? Hemorrhage? Yeah, that's fine. Sure. I don't know if I'm giving, being given the option to re-roll or not. Alright, anything that swings... Is good. Whirlwind and Titan's Cleaver. Sure. Just damage. Or all my damage? Sounds good. Oh, you can, like, drag the Cleaver, too. That's cool. Need to make sure we're not falling too far behind on damage. So, okay, here we go. So now once I have my stuff, I get to pick... Some other, some other talents and whatnot. AoE sounds good. Just grind them up. Very few things don't scale with each other. That's good. More whirlwind. Or just poison. Just more poison chance is good. Do I have to click on this thing to, like, earn it? Movement speed. More doom. More doom is fine. Stack up all kinds of debuffs and stuff on people. Shockwave totem? Sure. I, I like I like the idea of burn, but I think shockwave purple shockwave totem might be too good to pass up. Damage seems to be keeping up at this point, it's good. Oh, I look at them green guys. See. Body slam or burn or more AoE. Yeah, let's do more AoE. Yeah, what do I do with that little that thing? Oh yeah, so I, I think I did have to kill it. Uh Body Slam and Shockwave Totem get buffed by that. Multicast of everything seems good. I just do multicast of everything. Dan just more damage. Uh, crit chance is kind of cool, I guess. Titan's Cleaver seems fine. Seems good. <laughs> yeah, I think eventually I might have to turn down the skill thing. Yeah, I, d I didn't want to do it right off the bat, though, because I actually wanted to, like... I kind of want to see what my skills look like first, right? Let's do 15% more damage. I wouldn't mind some more of the vacuum effect, though. would be good. Kind of owning, <laughs> I think, right? Should I get some? Should I get some block? Should I start maybe making myself take a little bit less damage? I don't, I don't think I've been taking damage yet, but that's probably coming at some point, right? Start getting hit by stuff. Ooh, brutal strikes! I like that. Just more, more bleed chance. So we have bleed, poison, fire. Gotta make sure we keep scaling damage, though. Like, even these little guys are just starting to, like, just live. Shockwave totem. Sure. 
Alfred. Oh. Damage doesn't look too bad. I'll put, I'll put the, a burn chance on there too. I think there's like, I have like the burn chance and the uh, poison chance. I think we're okay. Probably should get some whirlwind totem, man. Or whirlwind, I mean. Not whirlwind totem. Slam shockwave totem still. Yeah, I don't really want to reduce my movement speed. Okay. It was blue, so. Take the blue one, right? I'll get a couple of these, huh? We're gonna need a couple multicasts. Oh, look at look how many totems I have on the ground. Insane. Blasting these dudes. My whirlwind is like has no AoE on it at all. But my slam is pretty good, right? Need more multicast. Need more demuge. Oh hello. Oh. Don't want that. Yeah, the slam is like what's hitting hard for me. Or multicast too. You just need dots everywhere. Yeah, we're not definitely not to curse level yet. Let's let's go ahead and put a slow, like a source of slow. That seems good. Oh my god, my shockwave totems just like are CCing them. It's like knocking them all over the place. That's awesome. Oh, I probably should have grabbed fragility actually. That's awesome. Do you guys like games like this? I think they're really fun. They were just like spraying damage on people. Let's get the dots out. Damage is starting to look like it needs to needs a little help. That's a health crystal. I don't think I need that yet. But it's good to know that where it is. Let's get. Some, should we get some more multicasts or just more damage? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead level up my thing again. My whirlwind a little bit. All right, incarnation of ice. Let's see how our damage is looking on this big guy. We do have a lot of XP to mop up too. Oh boy. Oh, that's. I guess we gotta take the legendary. Shadow spikes. I mean, my damage isn't looking too bad. Especially with the slams. We hit him with all this stuff, all this doom and poison and burn and bleed, all this stuff. All right, mop them up. First level, probably not gonna have hard though. First time playing, it is, yeah. I've watched it uh, a little bit because I, I do really like games like this. Let's grab some just crit. That could be a trap, but we're just experimenting. Let's do some more multicast, I think. Titan's Cleaver. Uh, I think I want to do Fragility. Just a source of Fragility. I'm not sure if I have one yet. It's not a very high chance or a very high increase in damage, but more debuffs the better, right? <laughs> Look at them all. Burning. Burning, bleeding, dooming. Shattered. Fragilified. Yeah, the... Only other survivor style game I played was uh, Vampire Survivors, which was a lot of fun. I feel like I got on the Vampire Survivors a little early. I think I, I played it and then people really started enjoying it, which is awesome to see that. Cast frequency? Or multicast? Uh, let's do frequency for now. Multicast seems good for burst. Does that have much downtime? Yeah, my, my Whirlwind sometimes only casts one time. I really haven't buffed that up very much, have we? I mean, it's it's working though. 
It may be kind of hard to make a not good build in this. At least right now. Uh, I'm just, I just want a little bit more movement speed. Things are getting a little, uh, a little interesting here. I only have one dash, so might be to my uh, my best interest to move a little faster in general. Who's this guy? Let's go ahead and just keep pressure on the boss, I guess. Oh, he's dead. Nice. I mean, maybe my dots are doing work. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get magnetic, man. I need to be sucking up this XP. Just gotta maybe maybe hang out with my totems more. Maybe I do want to go grab, uh, I want damage. I want to go grab that health, maybe. That's pretty cool, though, huh? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm digging it. I've been looking forward to playing this. There's all kind of different, like, characters and stuff, too. With, like, different, uh... Like, starting stats and stuff, but it also seems like maybe, like, their starting skill can help you, too. Help you, like, kind of figure out, like, where you want to scale your guy. How's it looking ultra-wide, too? Oh, what's that? So we have a couple more monsters to slay, and then we have another lord. My damage is looking a little soft, though, right now. It's not gonna lie. Oh, that's a lot of uh, stuff right there. Um, critical damage, sure. Or we could do we could do like eighty percent chance to slow if that's how it works. It's a big monster right there. Let's get some dots on him. Slow is not damage though. And I think that you can definitely like start to fall off on damage pretty hard. I think we are falling off on damage pretty hard. I don't know, man. I feel like I, I feel like my dots are doing a lot of work. My upfront damage is a little not impressive, but like I just go around and things are just dead when we come back. Um, I don't want movement speed loss, but I wouldn't mind more burn. Question mark. I'm not sure what my chance to burn is, but I want it to be really good because it seems like dots are doing work for me. What are we playing? Uh, so we played some WoW, got our raids done, did some BGs. Now we're playing this game that I've really been looking forward to called uh, Soulstone Survivors. It's kind of like Vampire Survivors. It's like in that genre if you played that before. Where you have like a dude and you run around and all your attacks are like autumn, like they just go off. So it's kind of just controlling your character and playing a, a, a build. And it does have some like meta progression. So like, it, you know, when you clear a level or levels or whatever, you get to like, you know, make your character more powerful for next time. It's pretty cool. I'm doing more movement speed, man. Same same idea. It can get a little hectic, and we're not even really like that crazy right now. But yeah, just run around and kill a bunch of monsters. Oh no! Run around and kill a bunch of monsters, and then uh I'm gonna go over here for a second. And then summon the big guy. Oof. He's he's not super low health right now. I don't know if I have very much, like, piercing damage here to get through all these guys, but if I can get some dots on them, then maybe. Oh, here we go. Get a little closer, maybe. Get some of the, the body slam action on them. So you can target your abilities. Uh, let's just do shockwave totems. I feel like shockwave totems are actually kind of putting in work right now. All right. Oh, okay, so now we we can either continue on or level or like wrap it up and level up. What's your recommendation, guys? Wait, what's that? What's the red one? Uh-oh. I just wanted to look I just wanted to look at it. What does the red portal do? Uh-oh. Uh oh. I don't know if I should have done red for my first time ever. I've never seen red before. Oh. Uh, did I, did I, have, I, have I made a terrible mistake choosing red? Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Are we gonna be all right? I mean, like, dying doesn't really do anything except just, you know, ends the run and we just go level up, right? Is that true? Game similar to Hades? Um, in the it's similar to Hades in the fact that you're choosing from random buffs as you go along, but it's it's not like uh, it's a lot more mobs. <laughs> Hades is a little bit like level by level, you know, you kind of take it as you go, but this is more like Vampire Survivors. Have you played that? Yeah, my damage is just not good enough. I don't think for this. We'll see. Okay, and the blue portal is just, like, keeping it going. It's kind of keeping your, keeping your run going, then red portal is, like, more boss rush. Chaos golems are insane? Okay. Maybe yeah, we'll get them on, on the next run. Okay. So if your build is, like, okay or you want to level up, you just go back. It's kind of nice to have another dash. But then if if you kind of like what's going on or you just want to farm more, you can kind of keep it going. Like if you have like a really good boss killing build, like really good single target, maybe you do the red portal. Just want to AoE or just keep playing, you do the purple portal. Okay. Maybe, maybe more fragility would be good, but... We might need to stack fragility. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one. We have a lot of ways to apply bleed, and so it might be like making it too redundant, right? Let's get some more whirlwind action going. My multicast is still pretty weak, I think. Boss rush hard mode, okay. I think we're definitely just dead to this boss, because my damage isn't even that good against the little dinky ads. This may be the end, boys. Uh, that's kind of insane. We've done a little bit of damage to this guy, though. Uh oh. Let's get the dots out, I suppose. Huh? I mean, we're not we're not giving up. Just understanding that this is gonna be tough. Uh oh. The dashes do cool down independent of each other, though, don't they? It's kind of nice. Just kind of just keep steady state dashing around. Okay, Shockwave Totem. I mean, go, go, go ham. <coughs> okay, you make a new weapon and you lock the new spells. Cool. I mean, the Barbarian is like my kind of guy, but I probably will try to other stuff out too, right? Can I attack them through the wall? They can attack me through the wall with their AoE. Look at the shockwave totem, man. Look at that thing putting in work. I need more... I need more multicast, I think is what I really need. Okay, shockwave totems are actually carrying me. That's funny. Blam, blam. Blam, blam, body slam. Here we go. Multicast. There is Chaos Golem. I'm not doing it right now. Ooh. Multicast of Body Slam? Oh, baby. So just 10% more damage on everything. Seems good. Flurry Multicast. Epic. Yup. Sounds good. Oh, I looked at the chat. I took a hit. Um... Yeah, so it, it scale body slam scales with your health or something. What's that? <laughs> Look at those totems. Look at them go. Body slam AOE. I, I think we want mul more multicast for a little while. I think that's what we're gonna want. I mean, if it really wants me to do more body slam, I mean, I'm down. Titan Cleaver or Body Slam? Damage modifier on this. 
Critical damage modifier on everything. Uh, frequency. Ooh, dazed on Doom. Cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, you gotta move. Hold on. There we go. Big body slam now. Oh my gosh. All right, now we're now we're popping off. Look at all the dots too. Now now we're scaling, boys. Okay, let, let me turn down the skill transparency just a little bit for us, just for the good of us all. Yeah, that's still pretty intense with body slam. Just zooming. Now, now we need some big life rolls. Okay. Start looking for some health. I've gotten some defense, but. All right, Flurry. It like giga casts Flurry. Just cleaving through all of them. Put some dots out. I need to go get this XP though. I'm kind of like running in the lap, but not actually getting it. Fragility. Oh, let's do let's do crit damage. I don't really know if I'm critting. I want to be critting, but I'm not actually sure if we are. More damage on body or More damage on everything. The whirlwind. Is that what I'm seeing? Body slams level eleven. Yeah, Titan Cleaver is like level four. It's not really doing, not really doing too great, is it? Possibly you can see my crit chance. Oh, okay. Good to know. More power. Eat him up. Whoa! All my area damage is increased. That's pretty good. <laughs> Whirlwind and Flurry? Okay. Seems like I do a little bit of that kind of damage. My shocker totems are actually just doing work. Alright, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and increase this a little bit. The Titan Cleaver. Let's get that online. Run some laps right now, boys. Gotta mop up that XP. Uh, health? Okay. It wasn't big health, but it was a little bit, right? Whoa, I took a hit there. Um, could do frequency. Could just do damage. All right, big boy coming. Two, two big fellas actually. All right, shotgun totem. See what you got. So this will guarantee slow everybody, right? Everybody will be mega slowed. Which seems good for me. That's a, a defensive layer of sorts, right? Doubling back a little bit here. Got the big frosty exploits. Uh, yeah. Uh oh. Got a scoot. Kind of want to double back around now. This way. Just kind of pull things together and then smash it all. The body slams. What else are we looking for? Yeah, we. Wait, is fire shield a skill? Is that good? I don't think so. Let's do ten percent more damage. Take some damage buffs. Seems good. Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm like in, I'm like in the, uh, in the ice. Yeah, I got knocked into it. I almost had those guys too. One of them's dead, actually. Okay, not a bad first run. This guy's still dying. <laughs> Let's see if he dies to my, to my dots. Let's see. He's dying. Look at him. 
He's feeling it. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Always banish it? Yeah, I gotcha. Might as well go gauntlet. Yeah, just killing a million things? Yeah. Okay, not bad. Look at Shockwave Totem. Doing 18 million <laughs> damage. What the? Like, that's way out of scale of everything else by a lot. I don't know, man. We thought Shocker Totem was popping off, and it was. Nice. All right, so what do we do now? Um, some skill street stuff? I don't have quite enough for that. Um, damage modifier, move speed. I'll take both of those. Maybe a little bit of health. Uh, let's see what else we got. Crit chance. 2 HP when you level up. Um, you can upgrade your dash. That's that's good. Just a bunch of little level ups. Second dash does sound good, though. We do have three of these guys. We can grab that. I think more damage is going to be the most helpful thing for us for a while. Don't you think? Stack to Mooj, maybe some crit. Movement speed is also very good. Pickup range sounds like a really nice quality of life, actually. I don't think max health really comes into play uh, very early. Frequency is also good, I'm sure. Take some more. Let's take some crit chance. Take some frequency or something else. So you get two health points if you level up. I mean, that sounds okay, but I don't think that's a big deal for a while either. Minor soul stones. What are these? Are these minor soul stones? Oh, yeah, we should take that. Make an investment. Take a little bit more health. Cool. That'll work. <coughs> They seem like uh, sort Torchlight and other simple grind level runners. Uh, it's even more simple than that, I would say. Yeah. Banish rerolls? Where's that one? Oh, that one right there? Gotcha. Cool. But yeah, it's, it's even more basic than that, I'd say. So... Oh, I see. So I, I would have to pay some of these things to unlock these guys. That's okay. I wouldn't mind doing another Barbarian run anyway. I like these kind of characters. That's my dude. That's my dude right there. Wearing the wrong type of hat? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Yeah, I do. I do, as a matter of fact. All right, here we go. I don't have any runes. Um, should I have to chuck a curse on? The elite enemies spawn 10% more frequently? No, that's okay. Or should we do the next level? I probably should do the next level before we do curses, right? Right? Yeah. Let's do the next level first. All right, here we go. This'll be nice. Back in business, baby. Doing a little more damage. Running a little faster. Casting a little more frequently. Yeah, learning the new levels and, and like seeing what they drop is good, right? Because if you want to like, you know, make weapons and stuff. Seems good. Yep, back in the business of Big Cleave. So I like, I actually like Shockwave Totem. We, we may have just gotten lucky. And like, we got like two le legendary things for Shockwave Totem though. Uh, poison or burn? Or just damage? I, I think we should just take the 15% damage while we can. Because that scales forever too. You guys like watching this game? I really think this kind of stuff is really fun. Yeah. Think I can figure out how the portals and stuff work and curses? Yeah. 
I have the advantage of you guys to tell me what's up. Yep. Exactly. Like, Torghast, it was... Oh, I just took a hit for no reason. Torghast is kind of like a, a, a version of this. <clears throat> Void? Or Body Slam? We, we liked Body Slam, didn't we? Yeah, Torghast took the idea from these games. Exactly, yeah. We liked Body Slam. I, thought, I feel like that was doing good work for us. The Void thing could be fun, too, though. Let's just go ahead and get this XP rolling early. I think our damage is sufficient that we can invest in the XP. And the acquisition of it. And we're just doing baby damage right now. Uh, this is very early on. I don't really need the dash, but if, if it's giving it to us, I feel like we ought to take it. Yeah, Whirlwind does negative damage. Is that, is that going to be like that forever? Ooh, Shockwave. I like that. Let's see if, so it, that's also in front of me though, so. Interesting. We'll have to scale that up too. Uh, big health for Body Slam. Be good. Flurry and Subdue is a good combo, okay. That's the one that the other one was like right in front of me, you two, right? The, the subdue. That was like a hemorrhage one, wasn't it? Shockwave body slam, baby. Like that, dude. I might just do more XP again. But that's not trolling. We're, we just haven't really made any progress yet. Like, I just I think it's pretty basic. Okay, so it, it, we could do Chaos Golem or a Shockwave Totem. We, we could try a Chaos Golem this time. I've heard that the Chaos Golems do pretty good work. I wouldn't mind a Shockwave Totem as well, but we only have two more ability slots. Alright, so Body Slam and Shockwave multicast. I like that. Kabam. Uh, I like Bleed, but maybe we'll just do more health. I really like Bleed a lot, though. Oh, it's only Critical Strikes. Let's just do the Body Slam HP stack, and then we'll... But it's only... I don't think I crit hardly at all right now. Chaos Golems make it hard to properly kite. Oh, yeah? How so? Do they, like, pull aggro? And that's... I'm actually gonna do Shockwave Totem. I like Shockwave Totem a lot. We have Shockwave and Shockwave Totem. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. I mean, it's kind of tanking it for me. That's not my, that might be a bad thing. Alright, let's do Shockwave, sure. Um, Whirlwind, sure. I'm not really that impressive with Whirlwind, but we can do it for now. Yeah, we're just going to be Shockwaving like the entire freaking universe. We have Shockwave and Shockwave Totem. Uh, so I have to pick this. Um, Flurry... Flurry really didn't do that bad for us before. Let's just do it again. It'll give me something to, you know, control. So we have totems, a summon. So body slam and shockwave. Multicast. Sounds good. Interesting. We're gonna be good for a second debuffs. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hope for that one. I think. Let's should we just chuck a burn on? Just AOE. I think we do AOE for right now. Uh, yeah. I like I like the skills that we have right now. Uh, Doom or Poison. Let's get some Poison rolling. Doom could be good too, though. Ooh, Shockwave Multicaster? Yup. <laughs> blasting him with the Shockwave. Oh my gosh, Multicast on Whirlwind, Shockwave, and Flurry. Or more Chaos Golems. I think we gotta do this one. 
It's just too much. There's three skills that benefit from that, and they all get powered up. Oh, Demolish sounds really fun, though, too. Maybe not this time. Ooh, shock, Body Slam, Shockwave, and Shockwave Totem all get powered up by that, too. It's just a slam, just a slam daddy builder. Yeah, Flurry's good for second debuffs. I can see that for sure. Just because of all the individual hits. You have a 100% chance to deal a critical strike and enemies with the full health. This seems troll, but I actually want to do it. Um, I just think it, I think it'd be fun. Uh, let me turn the audio down just a little bit more. Because because those shockwaves are going to be meaty. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and do... Yeah, we want, we want crit damage. Because we're going to be critting the heck out of stuff. Because my, uh... My, I have some little attacks, but then we have some big attacks that would be like hitting people from off screen. Body slam, shockwave, shockwave totem again. <laughs> this is gonna hit hard, man. This is gonna be fun. Just off screen, just giga shockwaved. Pretty silly, but awesome. Yeah, movement speed can equal damage because of that, that one skill for sure. Look at this. My guy does feel pretty slow. We might want to get a little bit more. Ah. Uh, then we can also just get more AoE. We'll get movement speed in a bit. I think AoE's pretty good for us right now. Dude, we're getting damage increase on the slam skills so much. I love it. More AoE. I almost don't even want to use this flurry now. Critical damage modifier, yup. I almost just want to let, like, my shockwaves just destroy everything for me. Frontal body slam shockwave again, yup. Let's see it, let's, let's just one-shot this boss. I didn't do that much, I'm scared. I mean, I don't know. It wasn't too bad. Maybe not the best single target. I'm just I should probably have not done that. I'll take this one though. Multicast? Yep. Oh no, we should do more health actually. I think multicast would have been better, never mind, but it's okay, we'll take health. Let's do big magnetic. I like that. This is good. Yeah, I guess you don't really need to move fast when everything gets one tap, it's true. When you're just a literal walking shock wave. Let's do more AoE. Yeah, I just, I just, I really just need movement speed so I can just collect XP faster. Oh my gosh. The area of Shockwave even more. Jeez. The thunder is Shockwave. <laughs> We need more, we need more, more, oh my god, more shockwave damage. My shockwave is already level 11. I mean, how much, how, how high of a level can it go? This is big time shockwave build. Bloodlust would be good if I want to drop flurry, okay. I might. Maybe we'll look out for it. Maybe, maybe work on some frequency for Shockwave, too. Well, it's failability. What does it do? Just, but just, is it like, wow, Bloodlust? Body Slam? Yup. The Shockwave actually knock everything back, too. I know the Shockwave Totem is knocked back. Increased, uh, cast speed. Nice. Sounds good. What's up, Water Maloon? Playing some some survivors, bro. Yeah, I don't want, I don't necessarily want to do. Uh, we can we have a lot of HP. We could put some armor on there too to make it even, even more tank. <laughs> Just peppering the entire freaking field. Uh, 
Critical damage chance. No, I, we need, I think we want more multicast, but I, I would really love more shockwave. I think multicast just helps everything, though, even though I want to continue to make my shockwave just ridiculously high level t still. Yeah, I feel like these dots are not really what I need for this build, though. I mean, if it applies dots, that's good, though. It's not mad about it. Uh, a slow is probably good. Because, I mean, we're hitting everything on the screen, so if everything's slowed, it's nice. This guy's taking some heat. <laughs> oh my god. That guy got melted. That, I mean, that worked. More body slam damage? More AoE? I don't know, might have to do more body slam. I know, I know that we're just, like, pretty early in the game, so... Things are gonna be funny. And probably easy, but this is still pretty funny to me. Yeah, we, we got a few golems running around. People people recommended that I uh, that I get some going, so I give them a try. They're like, they're, you know, they're distracting the enemies, right? Giving my, uh, my shockwave a chance to get the job done. More AoE on the shockwave? Sure. Sure, dude. <laughs> Just getting peppered. And they get knocked back. That's so funny. Sometimes you get a good build that just face rolls. Sometimes it's painful. Yeah, I would imagine early in the game, a lot of the builds are probably going to be pretty good. And then as time goes on, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Yeah, my actual, like, close-up damage is pretty bad. Or Shockwave, I mean, if you insist. I like Shockwave Totem, too, though. Shockwave Totem is pretty low level. Might want to work on that. What's going on down here? My golems are just doing work. Big XP farm down here. Good job, boys. Let's see what kind of damage I do here. <laughs> it's a lot of AoE. I feel like it's not actually doing that much. Critical damage chance. I mean, my golems... I don't think my golems are really dying. They could tank them up too, though, I guess. Need to get this guy some body slam damage here. There it is. Let's get a little closer. Every time you fly a stack of poison, almost... Maybe there's a little bit of doom as well, sure. Sure, dude. We could, we could do some double ups. Yeah, exactly. It, it's like in the... Sur I feel like the survivor genre is a thing now, right? Games inspired by Vampire Survivor. But I don't think... I don't know if Vampire Survivor was the very first to do that, but... Definitely made it popular, right? It reminds me of, like, action RPGs, except it just takes... Takes a lot less time to get your build going, right? Which is pretty cool. Dude, what if we did Piercing Shout instead of something else? Like, do I really need Whirlwind? I feel like this isn't doing anything. It's level 3. Or this is level 2. It weakens their armor power by 50 for 5 seconds. I and mean, that could be pretty good, right? I wonder... Is, it is AoE, too. I'm actually not very impressed with Whirlwind. Let's drop it. Can I choose which one it replaces? Let's try it. Oh, no! I wasn't ready for that. Okay, here we go. Give it a try. But yeah, it's definitely like a thing now, right? That chain lightning? I'm, I'm doing just physical right now. I'm going to reduce their armor, and then I'm just going to shockwave them. I'm going to have my little golems hanging out, too. Let's do it. Multicast. Need more multicast. Yeah, we got to find a way to scale some damage now. 
Because my AoE is pretty intense. The knockback is hilarious. Oh, we need more damage. Maybe my golems are falling off too. They're also only level 2. Need some frequency. We'll see what we can get. I think frequency would be helpful. Let's work on that a little bit. Get these abilities going off a little more often. When they go off, it's pretty devastating. But they need to go off a little more often. Just wearing them down. Wearing them out. <laughs> yep. Watch when you play, make sure you want to play. Yep, yep, yep. That's pretty fun. Let me know how your build's going. And that was a nice little chunk of damage there. Let's see. Legendary multicast on Body Slam. We're going to have to take that. So yeah, so the the body slam comes through and then the shockwave does afterwards. Oh, where's our big guy? Let's have a look at him. Alright. Keep it close, keep it tight. There it is. Nice. Uh, multicast sounds good. More AoE also sounds fine, but let's do the multicast. Oh, we did the thing. Okay. What should we do? <clears throat> Red portal? I think our boss killing is not super bad. Is this Torghast? Yeah, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Red portal? Purple portal? What you guys think? I feel like we're actually doing pretty okay on the bosses. None of them really taking that long to, to slay. Let me go back in here. I'm gonna go back in here. Keep it, keep this thing rolling, dude. The the red portal is more of like a boss, a boss rush. It's a little harder. I think we got what it takes, though. Purple's what you uh, want to farm upgrade talent tree bosses for the fun. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, it's actually better to farm in the purple? Okay. Maybe I should just farm in the purple then. I gotcha. It seemed like the red would be more rewarding, but maybe not. It's more challenging. Oh my gosh. Dude. Every single skill I have is, is upgraded by this. The frequency of piercing shot would be great, but... Not every single one, but almost. The frequency is awesome. You can almost run purple forever, I gotcha. I, I, I wouldn't mind the run ending eventually, that's okay. Let's do Piercing Shot more often. I like that one. Shockwave Totem coming online, baby, let's go. Let's go Shockwave Totem. Yeah, my, uh, my Body Slam seems to be putting in some work because of all my extra HP. Good. We could honestly get rid of Flurry, couldn't we? Maybe we maybe we should not though. Maybe we should just level it up a little bit and see if we actually give it a chance. I think the multicast for everything would have been better though. Let's actually give Flurry a chance, dude. Summon. So shockwave totems and my guys will get leveled up by that. My, my little dudes. I did the red portal last time, it was fine. Yeah, it's good for stacking debuffs. I don't think I have that many debuffs, though. So I may be losing a little bit of uh, utility there. I'm going to take some movement speed here, I think. So I can scoot around a little better. Yeah, I don't think I have a ton of debuffs to stack, but that is good for it, I bet, yeah. 
I mean, I guess you always have a billion debuffs, but I don't think I've focused on it this time. I, d I was thinking about it a little bit earlier on, and then it just did not. Let's take uh, Body Slam. Body Slam's killing it right now. Alright, the, the Lord is almost ready to be summoned. Just clearing out these screens, man. I gotta find where the XP is. <laughs> oh, here he is. Let's see how it goes. There's two of them. Let's see. Uh, Doom would be great. In this situation. How we doing on boss damage here, boys? How we doing? Not too bad. Not too insane, but not too bad. Legendary Body Slam. Yup. There it is. Bang, bang. Got food from the, from the mobs a little bit. Oh, my golems are just tanking him. That's nice. Let's get some more HP. Sure. I think it only really scales Body Slam, but that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We just kind of put those bosses in a corner. Literally. Slammed them down. I mean, we're just going to keep on... Oh, Critical Damage Modifier is kind of fun for our thing that we have. More AoE. Or Frequency of the Shout is good. Duration of the Shout is good. Burn would have been probably okay, too. Yeah, I, I, I wanted the Shout. I feel like it's really good. Shattering their armor. When Spell Drake drop, that starts on actual Dragonflight launch on the 28th. It's coming. More HP? Sure. Once again, that's big body slams, right? Let's see how many of these lords we can take out. So, is, uh, frequency is what we need. Um, the, the red isn't endless, though, right? Like, the red does end. Body slam damage. Oh, it ends when you die. Okay. But you will die. Okay. And that's fine by me. Ooh. Uh, subtracts it from my movements. We don't love that. I mean, is it troll to take this at this point? Let's do this. I'm not that slow. Ooh, Shockwave multicast. Okay, love that. Ooh, slow applying fragility is good too, but I think it's hard to pass up a legendary Shockwave when Shockwave is already so, like, juiced up for us. Uh, this is good. This is good now, I think. Because I crit every... I, have, I crit every first attack no matter what. And then maybe we do a little bit of chance to crit after that. Let's do this. A little bit of crit to apply bleed, it sounds great. Fragility can run like crazy, yeah. I, I, I think it's something that I want to work on later. This game free? No, it's like 10 bucks though. 10 bucks on Steam. This isn't a sponsored stream or anything, I wish it was. Be fun. Alright, let's get some more HP, more body slamage. My damage is actually not looking too bad right now. It's looking good. Multiplayer? I don't think so. I don't think it is. Uh, I would like... I guess multicast. I want more frequency, though. I want to, I want my stuff going off all the time. My shout goes off fairly, fairly often. <coughs> Crit damage modifier is good. Sorry, guys. This is the time of night where my... I start to get, like, a little bit of a cough. I've been fighting off a cold, and we've been doing okay with it, but... The, the cough, like, the little little cough kind of creeps in. Blue multicast is hard to pass up, even though I want more frequency. It starts spawning 100 bosses a wave? Holy crap, that's insane. What kind of build were you playing with that? that sounds wild. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm waiting on those big shock waves. Let's get that frequency. I would love to do more damage, but we need frequency now. They need the skills to go off more often just to do stuff. 
We could do the Bloodlust, so we have Body Slam, Shockwave, Shockwave, Totem. I think it's a little bit late in the game to get Bloodlust. Unless we wanted to replace, like, uh, Flurry or something. But Flurry still helps us out. I don't know what, how much... I'm not sure how much chance to slow we have, but we can get a little more of it. It's nice. Bloodlust will carry. Drop it for Flurry, you think? Just go, just, 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 just accept our Omega AoE build. Maybe just what we need. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I'm down. It just needs to give me Bloodlust again. Alright, let's, let's swap it up for Flurry. Feeling crazy, bro. Oh, wait, it, 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 it was already level 3 for some reason. Is that how that works? Is it always like that? I'm just gonna do the XP just for fun. Look at these bosses. I mean, that's a hit, man. That's a hit. They get body slam and stuff. Shockwave totems? I like shockwave totems. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> I love shockwave totems. Just watching them just blast everything back like that is so funny. Yeah, the frequency is working out pretty good for us from Bloodlust, I think. That's definitely something we needed. Cast frequency modifier, Bloodlust, yep. More Bloodlust. Frequency means more frequency everything else, too. Big scaling. <coughs> a lot of it is the same day as... Yeah, I mean, WoW is, you know, a big inspiration to a lot of games, I would imagine. Had a big impact. One of the things that's nice about this setup is that, like, I feel like I have a lot of room to maneuver because the bombs are just constantly getting knocked back. It's like, I'm, I don't feel like I'm, like, pressured. I just can just stroll around as I please. Like, golems kind of tank stuff. Just screen-clearing AoE that also knocks back. The damage, though, is only alright, I think. Most of the damage is coming from Body Slam. But the amount, the amount of uh, explosions taking place is pretty hilarious. I'm, I'm just going to do this again. I feel like it might be a little bit late in the game to be investing in XP. But that's okay. Frequency by 10? Yup. Yup. I mean, if, if I if I can make Body Slam go off more often, then we actually have damage. Fear Arms? I'm probably going to play Fury first. Let's see. What's the OP build? Elementalist Beams? Oh, wow. That does sound like a boss killer, doesn't it? Put a little poison on him, I guess? Does poison just continue to stack? The potency of the buff? I want, what, how much? How potent is it going to be? Is it going to like continue to shred their armor by a ton? Is that how that works? Yeah, I don't know. I, I like Fury. I like playing Fury, so I'll probably start off with Fury and see how it goes. Look at this shreddage. Oh no! No, I don't want that. I want body slam. Oh, more dashes? I don't know if I really need dashes at this point. That couldn't hurt though, right? I gotta do the crit modifier. I don't I don't know if I'm really hurting on dashes. Crit modifier sounds good. Just for fun. Yeah, Fury's good and fun, yeah. Always have like Fury. Alright, let's see if this body slam does the job. Just kind of walking away. Yeah, four four dashes could have been good there. Okay, one of the guys has taken no damage so far. Might actually like need to go talk to him just to get some debuffs on him or something, but I don't like this. Uh-oh, we're in trouble here. But there's a tree right there. Ugh. Oh, partner. Yeah, the four dashes would have been good here. Look at the AoE on the screen, though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just do more armor to, to complement my HP pool. Which, once again, is pretty juicy. Alright, that guy got blasted into smithereens. Where's the other dude? And 
there somewhere. There you are. Wait. Is that him? No, that's somebody the prophetess. They're in there. Uh, I'd like frequency. Some more of that would be nice. The little ads are still getting blasted pretty good. Body slam AoE. Let's do, if they're slow, they can be, get fragilified. Oh, there she is. Medusa looking thing. Daughter up. Big body slams. Alright, you know what? I'll take the dash this time. They gave me one chance at it and I didn't take it. I'll take it this time. Does it, did the boss thing is not always give you a, a buff? A level up, I mean. Should we do some doom? Put a little more doom in him? Sure. Sure, bro. We don't have the most instances of damage to stack doom. Wait. Oh god, we already pulled, pulled the second set? Okay, here we go. Hit him with it then. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to use all them dashes, huh? Or that fire thing. If I stay close to him, does he, does he hold off on doing those kind of attacks? He's getting pounded. Look at these totems. Oh my god, the totem burst. Pounded. Into the dust. Ooh, 15% frequency, can you imagine? How's the bitrate looking, boys? Is the bitrate completely in shambles, or are we still doing okay? Can you guys still see my webcam and stuff? Explody goblins are here. I don't know if that's a huge problem. As long as they get hit by something and die, I guess it's okay, but maybe they really hurt if you don't. AoE? Sure, dude. I already have a lot of AoE, but can hurt. You can fire off body slams from a little further away. Gotta get that elite get that lizard thing out of here. Snake. Blast them. Uh, it feels weird not to take some of that movement speed. We'll take it. Looks a great notions at all. Really? Cool. <laughs> Hear that? Let's post up. Shockwave toting this dude down. There we go. Another boss down. The the next set is coming up soon though. Uh oh. Death approaches. Oh nice. Yeah, I might need to, like, look around and make sure I'm farming uh, everything that I can farm here, huh? Make sure I get all this iron or whatever this is. Copper. Let me just go to the edge of the screen so I can get some more mob density. The golems out here. Look, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff over on this side. I'm just fighting in the middle. Yep, more damage on Shockwave would be good, because that is doing a lot of work for us. Okay, here we go. They, like, suck me in there. There's two big boys right there. This is getting zesty. Oh, I just walked right into that hit. That's my bad. Blame the golems for that one, of course. Naturally. Oh, no! I just passed up a legendary goal and things. It looked like the skill option. My bad. These guys definitely are just dead over here, though. That's cool. That's not good. Pass up a legendary option, I don't think. I don't think we'll get that again. That's okay, though. Honestly, frequency is still not a bad plan. <laughs> it's just not. It's just not. Gotta go find some health, though. Choose a portal. Wait. 
Blue ends the run and red goes back to another round of scary guys, right? Is there any reason to end the run when we could could just do more? I mean, may as well not end until we're dead, right? You could find a phone game like this. Alright, let's run it. There's no reason not to. Our build is holding up so far. Oh, you get a fresh a fresh uh, health bar too. Nice. Why are the mobs like weak now? What happened? It has, does it have to like ramp back up again? Hmm. Yeah, it's it's not a mobile game, but you can find mobile games like it. I would imagine. As soon as Vampire Survivors came out, I'm sure every mobile like you know mobile game publishers were like scrambling to try to make something like it. What do you think? This is my first time playing it though, yep. The blue part of Skeletor has two extra lives on it? Yeah, that might be nice. We get to get some of that action. Yup, frequency of bloodlust sounds great. Just destroying the whole map. Let's let's go to the corner. Some fresh spawns. big farming. Oh, yeah. Maximum units allowed from Shockwave Totem? Yup. Let's get that. Let's definitely get that. Ooh, I kind of want this armor. 24 armor? That's a lot. Three bosses? Oh my gosh, okay. Not, not getting handled. There's one down. They're not... Oh, here we go. Physical. Just only literally everything. Area on everything and a skill up for everything. Wow. Uh-oh. Just skating through. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm not, I'm not missing my increased quantity on my golems this time. Potency of the buff, sure. And increase the skill, yeah. No, no, no. Fragility might be kind of nice. Uh, let's see how much damage a full barrage does. <laughs> Look how long that lasts! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, the explosions. All right, let's uh, let's put up um, more of this, more merciless actually. Look how long the sh the shockwave totem like bonanza lasts. That's crazy. Uh, I, I you know I can't really pass up the blue XP collector. Jeez Louise. All right, potency of shock on a uh, bloodlust. Yep. Okay, I gotta turn down the skills again just a little bit. It's gonna be that point in the game. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm down for more Doom. I think you don't really need that many chances to apply a slow, unless it's like I'm using that to do fragility, which I think I might be. More Doom. Nah, I think we have a lot of ch sources of doing this to do armor. Tank up. This is looking pretty good. Area. Oh, yeah. Reduces all damage taken by two, though. That, 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 that's different than armor. That's just straight up damage reduction. Multicast by 12. Yep. 
I'm leveling kind of fast right now. It's like my all my XP stuff is like kind of kicked into gear. Fragility stacks are always nice. Uh, more area or more XP. Let's do more XP. Because for some reason the XP is flowing really, really nicely right now. Damage of Shockwave, yep. Level 20 Shockwave, by the way. Look at how much Shockwaving is taking place. Both from the totems and from my other stuff. My actual skill casted Shockwave. Uh, more Chaos Golem damage? Sure. I don't think the Chaos Golem is a really high damage for me, but we can, we can show him some love. Should we put some burn on him? Do we have any sources of burn? I think we do. Let's do more of this. I mean, the XP, once again, it's flowing right now. We are leveling up really nicely. Might want to make use of that while we can, because I don't think burn is too great. Crit damage modifier, probably fine. If we crit, man, I mean, it's, it's, more, it's a big damn. Piercing Shout and Bloodlust. Damage modifier? Okay, the potency will be increased. I can also do more HP. Let's just do this. We'd like Bloodlust and the Shout. What is the blue portal? The blue portal just keeps it going, I think. The blue portal just, just keeps it rolling. More frequency on all my builds. Or all my stuff. Just a little bit. What's good? Look at this damage. Oh my god. Look at the damage in these bosses. Look at this. If my totems and stuff actually stack on him, he gets absolutely erased. Holy crap. Are you kidding me, bro? Yeah, Blue Port just wraps. These guys just got blasted in the corner here. Well, just curtains for them. Duration of piercing shot? I don't even know if I need duration. I feel like it's already, like... Shouting on cooldown. And it debuffs him. Oh, you know what? Let's do it a little bit longer. Just to, just to make sure. It lasts six seconds, but maybe I'm not in range, you know, sometimes. Who knows? We'll just make sure it's, like, plenty, plenty. Hey, 5% damage at this point is 5% damage. I might take it. I think the XP modifier is pretty good, though. Because we are getting a lot of XP and collecting a lot of XP. Shock we like shockwave totems. Watching the shockwave totems just erupt on everything is pretty like that right there is pretty funny. Just, just the ultimate screen wide AoE. Gangrene. Oh yeah, we we we're, we're applying for agility kinda nice, so maybe it'll be a good bleed. I think we already might have a, a one stack of that. Make sure we don't get caught by stuff. Frequency of piercing shout. I, I feel like we might just do the golem. Let's just do some big shockwave clearance of this whole screen here. Bosses, one boss is down. Let's see one left. AOE on chaos golem and bloodlust. I don't know if that's big of a deal. Let's just do AoE on everything. <coughs> I think that might have increased their, their skill level too, though. Take more AoE and everything anyway. Piercing, Shout, and Bloodlust. So, once again, that's like big potency for us. I mean, sure. I think at this point it's just like unnecessary amounts of overlap there. Another boss down. Uh, we're gonna do big health because that's gonna make my, uh, well, obviously it's gonna make my health more, but that's where else it's also gonna scan my body slam. More armor? Just tank up, boys. Just, okay, we immediately brought up new bosses. Excellent. Immediately. Oh, I just dashed right into that. I'm so bad. Kind of a delay. There we go. Just, just keep on slamming. 
More health, sure. Should I go try to debuff these bosses? I think it's slam daddy pretty good. Alright, one down already. I think I can also just dash all the time now. Four dashes, it's like it's kind of just base movement speed at this point. Two more. Mop up some XP while we're at it. Let's do more fragility. Fragility equals bleed too. Alright. Looking pretty good. <laughs> Frailty, not fragility? Okay, same thing. It is frailty, not fragility. Fragility is a PoE thing, though. You're right, though. You're right. The next bosses are instantly summoned? Okay, cool. Just gotta keep scooting. Oh, man. Legendary physical. Oh, my God. On area. So that's gonna mean like immense like shockwave overlap. So the shockwaves will be like triple hitting everything, quadruple hitting everything. Yeah, like I just wiped the bosses. Just wiped them right up. Oh my god, do you see how much shockwave there was? Doom does days? Sure. Sure, dude. All right, clean those guys up. Maximum active units of Shockwave, yup. All right, we're going deeper, boys. <laughs> Let's make sure we, right, I mean, like, I feel like that one was the easiest one yet because we're just so jacked. All right, I'm gonna choose the red portal, but I'll be right back, one second. Look at my stats. Fragility is what debuff is, the passive is frailty. Okay, interesting. Look at that. Look at that. Pickup range modifier, 830%. Beer back. Get some crit chance? Yeah, I might have to work it in, yep. Sammy boy. Watch out, dude. Watch out, dude. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's keep it going, I think. It is like 12.30, so this will probably be the last thing we do for the night. That's okay. All right, the Laura's, all right, these guys are just not ready for what this character has become. They're not prepared. Let's make it back in the corner. They are not ready for this. I mean, like, how? What is my poison chance currently? I'll just put a little more poison chance on. I feel like I feel like in the early parts of these levels, though, I should definitely just be farming like XP boosts on like the little dinky ones. But I'll put a little more poison chance on there. Doesn't really seem like I need it, but it's okay. All right. I'm just gonna do more AOE right now because once again. The overlap on the shockwave seems kind of insane. The other chance does not increase the damage each stack. Okay, that's fine. It just increased the debuff chance. So this is how many bosses at the same time? Five bosses? At the same time? <laughs> well, that's four. How many burns do I have? Let's just do multicast. hang out with these bosses and just blast them all. 
Critical damage chance. Yes, this can crit chance. Sounds good. Oh, did you see that? Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Did you see all that AoE? What the heck? Potency of the buff time. So it's a cooldown? Uh, okay. Potency of its effect will be increased, or I could do time. No, no, that's just that's still potency. Let's just do this one. It's it's just both instead of one of them. Kind of a no-brainer. Multicast. I mean, sure. I mean, sure. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh, these these totems are insane. Jeez, Louise. I guess we just could do damage. Look at this, man. That times the boss's feet, yeah. And golems. It's a tracks from my, my movement speed, but I think we're okay with that. I think at this point, we don't really need that much movement speed, man. Like, we're looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to decrease the, the graphic just a little bit again. We can see the dust. That's like all we really need to see. Let's, we can we can just redo the movement speed now. Maybe my golems are actually doing work though. I don't know. Maybe can buff them up. This is insane. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna do more shockwave totem. We we've seen them do some ridiculous stuff, and I think they are doing ridiculous stuff right now too. So instead of doing everything buffed or whatever, I'll just do those for right now. Not lose movement speed. Look how look at the freaking totems. I would love more cast frequency, but I feel like shockwave th another thirty percent damage on that was pretty good. I'm gonna do frequency for everybody. It buffs everything. All right, let's see how these, how these bosses die. Get get some totems on this guy. Look at him. Get him totems. Oh yeah. Critical damage modifier. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I like the totems idea, but I want to do the crit damage modifier. Then we can start working on more crit. Crit multi is just one of those things that scales everything like crazy. Just taking some XP gains, sure, dude. I mean, it's just an increased chance to do it still. I'm just gonna do 5% more damage, man. 5% is 5%. Critical damage, yep. More crit multi. Look at this dude. Get exploder. Yeah, he did. What is this? Uh, I feel like it's hard to pass that up. Like the legendary that does my buffs. Or the epic that does my buffs. Hard to pass that up. Yeah, it seems like our damage is still looking okay. Goals I don't even talk damage to do slap. Yeah, the, I think they're like good single target. Let's just do armor. I'm not really blocking very much, but the armor is good because I have a lot of HP, so it just protects me from getting, you know, hit by something stupid. Dying. Oh, here we go. Bring him on. Shockwave, piercing shout, bloodlust. Okay, sure. I would love frequency, but the shockwave AoE overlap it seems pretty good. They got all my totems. <laughs> the boss has just exploded. Oh my god. Oh my god. More shockwave legendary. Yep, multicast. Shockwave, yes, please. I'm just I'm jumping right into something bad right now. Yeah. Oh, that hit me so hard. I do a lot of damage, but so does everything else, I guess, at this point, huh? Gotta be kind of careful. Pass up a blue totem. I... Oh my god, they just spawned instantly. Can I go look for uh, some green little guys? Any, uh, any green toadies? 
green crystals? Probably would have found it by now, huh? Not doing any boss damage currently. I, I, pr I probably should have stayed where I was so they could get grouped up better. So, yeah, we can really go to work. Yeah, there... Have I have I scaled to a point where this is gonna get really hard? Or am I just not doing? It's like I'm just not like actually hitting them with any of my abilities right now. I'm playing like a little bit of a weenie. I'm trying to live instead of trying to kill. Oh shit. No, I got stuck on a tree. That was a pretty good run, though. Those guys are gonna be hard. That was, that was a pretty good run. All things considered. Yeah, look at the Shockwave Totem and Body Slam. Shock I'm telling you, man, Shockwave Totems are nuts. Four bosses ink if it didn't die, that, that would've been fun. Look how much damage that thing did. Body Slam, we knew it was doing lots of damage. Shockwave and Chaos Golem. Ch Chaos Golem's doing almost as much damage as Shockwave. Didn't expect that. Yeah, Body Slam was... Big damn. Still a pretty solid run. Pretty solid run. With my man, the Barbarian. Yeah, look at how much juice we got from that one. That's pretty good. So we've unlocked the ability to get all these dudes now. The Spell Blade, huh? Barbarian for life, baby. Captain Kekin, thanks so much for the answer for the 13 months. Big flex for you. Appreciate it, man. Hammer Totem is best with blood... With, hold on, scent of blood or blood of scent? Interesting. So what's this thing? Is it like a bleed axe? Oh, what the heck? I need I need way more iron. Double slash, eh? Interesting. Okay. We do have emerald and we do have ruby, but we just need more iron. Is that enough for this yet? I do. Increases the runic power of all your characters by one. This is permanent. I feel like that is a good purchase, right? Need to farm uh, to crash this one? Yeah. Gotcha. All good. Can do. I like a rune slot seems pretty... I could actually buy two. I could almost buy three. Not yet. Oh, too late. I haven't unlocked any runes yet. That, that was pretty troll, I guess, huh? Oh, no, I have. Not, they're not that good, though, I guess, huh? Just take less damage. I don't know if that's I don't know if that was really that worth 15% less damage. I mean, that's, that's okay. Doesn't seem that good though. Interesting. Well, that'll be probably better later on, huh? Yeah, I think that was probably not worth. Thinking the reset skill tree for free. Do you get all this stuff back? Do you get all your juice back? Oh. Oh, so you, you don't get this back. Except the rune. Okay. Well. That's what we mostly wanted. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Is that how much this cost last time? That might actually be useful next time. 
the teeniest little bit of HP. Block power. Yeah, the rune, the rune was a little bit of a debate. That's okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's, it's it's a huge deal. We just don't we're just not a whole lot stronger than next run, but I don't think we need to be all that much stronger than next run. It seemed like our uh, our character was pretty all right. You know what I mean? Seemed like he was pretty okay. I mean, and fifteen percent less damage taken is probably fine for now. Yeah. Is it better to um, play a bunch of different characters? And like level up different, uh, like unlock different runes and stuff, or is it better to kind of focus on one guy? Complete a match less than 12 minutes with the Barbarian. Okay. I like these Barbarian dudes. Alright. Cool. Well, guys, it's pretty dang late. and We probably ought to wrap it up. That was really fun, though. I want to play more. <coughs> Maybe more tomorrow. There's skill pool. That could be some fun stuff. You think the Arcane Weaver is, was a good one? Is that what you're saying? It's like a druid looking guy. That's cool. Okay. Big boy. Cool. That's a lot of gold, dudes. Most are good. So this guy's not really that good. This is the Legionnaire, huh? I like Barbarian. Surprise, surprise. Maybe we'll try to unlock his, like, second weapon. Get the double slash instead of the whatever else. We got this. Alright. Yeah, Barbarian's my kind of dude. But yeah, let's wrap it up here, guys. I, I want to play more, but uh, we probably should call it a night. Oh, it's going to take me 10k to make it too? Okay. Then maybe we'll play some more tomorrow. It'll be fun. We don't have raids, so we can just like log in and play this first thing just all night. It'd be great. <laughs> so if you guys want to tune in for more of this, make sure you follow the stream. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another uh, solid day of games and gains. Appreciate the love. See you guys soon. Peace.